Hi, it's Tennis Coach Jimmy here. In this video, we're gonna learn how to hit a basic tennis serve. So let's get into it. Okay, so let's start with the basics. A tennis serve is a shot that you hit at to start every point in tennis. You get two service chances. If you miss both serves, it's called a double fault and your opponent wins the point. When you serve, you want to be serving from the baseline. So from the baseline, this line at the back of the court here, and you need to serve cross court into the opposite box like this. Okay, so let's get to the next part. Okay, so let's talk about the stance. So what we want to do is we want to have a good base when we serve. If our feet are muddled up, we're going to be off balance. Our serve isn't going to go where we want it to go. So roughly how I like to serve and what helps me is I have my left foot forward, my right foot slightly back. Um, I've probably got a racket width, um, a racket head width in between my, my feet to give me a nice solid base on my serve. If my feet are kind of a bit muddled up, it's gonna make the center of my direction of my serve go over that way, which is not what I want. So I wanna be like this, so I've got a nice base, and I can serve nice and easy like that. So all we wanna do when we start with a basic serve is we wanna try and not move our feet. You see a lot of pros, obviously, if you watch them on telly, they're jumping, they're doing loads of stuff with their feet and loading, which is great, which is something I'm going to explore in other videos. But for this exercise, we want to be not moving our feet. This is going to help us, give us a bit more stability on the serve when we're trying to learn. So if I take a ball, I'm going to try and throw it up and not move my feet up like this. If I'm throwing the ball in the wrong spot, I'm going to be off balance and the serve isn't going to go where I want it to go. Okay, so uh, let's get to the next step. Okay, so let's talk about the grip that we want to hold for our serve. So the best grip is the continental chopper grip. So the best way to get this grip with the V of my hand, I'm running the hand all the way down the handle. So I'm shaking hands with the racket. This grip is going to give me loads of options on my serve. It's going to help me pronate and be able to hit flat, slice, and possibly kick serves. I see a lot of players, a lot of beginners, especially using a semi-western or um, an eastern forehand grip, commonly known as the frying pan grips. Um, th these aren't that great because they don't help us pronate properly. When we pronate with these grips, our racket angles are off to the side and it's not where we want the ball to go. So holding the uh, chopper continental grip is going to give us a nice flat racket face when we make contact with the ball a little bit like this okay so let's get to the next part okay so we want to talk about the ball toss now um, so there are a couple of elements to get the right ball toss especially on a flat and on a slice serve. Um, so the best position um, you want to be for the ball toss is at one o'clock. So if I'm looking at a clock in front of me, this would be 12, this would be 11, and this would be one. So you want the ball ideally to go up at one o'clock. So it's nice and natural for your arm to hit the ball, make contact and pronate all the way around. Your thumb should end up by your hip on the other side. Okay, so. To get the ball at one o'clock, one quick tip I like to use is when I throw the ball, I like to line my arm up with the net post over on the right hand side. So if I line up my arm with the net post, this helps me get the ball up at one o'clock. A little bit like this. Okay, so we've got the direction now. How high has the ball got to go? So roughly, if we stretch our racket up, we want the ball to go as high as the racket, a little bit higher than the racket fully extended. So that's how, to, that's how high we want to get the ball. And how do we get a high ball toss? 
But one thing I like to teach my students is when I throw the ball with my left arm, I keep my left arm in the air after I've released the ball. So a little bit like this, it's going to give me a nice trophy position. So I want to keep the, uh, the left arm up for, say, two to three seconds after I've released the ball. That gives me a nice serve. A little bit better than that one. Let's try one more for that. Up. Okay, so we know how high the ball's got to go. We know the direction now. So what we also want to do and talk about is how we throw the ball up. Okay, so I see a lot of beginners, they throw from their fingertips and they flick the ball up, which sends the ball into different directions when we're throwing up, which is not what we want. We want the ball to go in the same spot every time. So one thing I like to teach is throwing, uh, cupping the ball, throwing from the palm of our hand all the way up. So throwing from the palm means that we haven't got much spin on the ball and it helps the ball just to sit up nicely for us to strike it. If we watch again, I'm going to put the ball up. Nice, keeping my arm up. That wasn't very good. Let's try again. That was a little bit better. Okay, so uh, just to recap, so we know how high the ball's got to go, got to throw just above the height of the racket, fully extended. We know that we need to throw the ball up at one o'clock, and to, to, to do that, we need to line up our arm with the net post on the right-hand side, if I'm a right-hander. Obviously, if I'm a left-hander, it'd be the opposite way. And to throw the ball, we, we talked about throwing from the palm, not the fingertips. Um, okay, so let's get on to the next bit. Another thing to mention, with the ball toss going up at one o'clock, and we're still trying not to move our feet. So as a beginner, you want to try and not get the feet involved with the serve. I like to teach just trying to get the top half, get the ball toss going in the right spot to help us build for uh, a better serve in future um, with all the basics in place. So if I throw the ball at one, I should be able to serve without moving my feet. If it's not at one, you can see I'm moving my feet, I'm off balance. So watch me again, I'm gonna go up the arm up and serve it okay okay so we've got the stance we know how we want to stand we know we want to use the grip the chopper grip the continental grip we know where we want to throw the ball we want the ball up at one o'clock and how to do that we want to now do what's called a trophy position so when we throw the ball up we want to get into a nice trophy position on our serve this is going to help us pronate and load and generate racket speed on our serve to make it nice and fast. If we don't get into this loading position, we're really going to struggle to get any speed on our serve. So um, what we want, what I teach beginners, because sometimes they do struggle with trying to do the ball and the racket at the same time, I try and teach just starting in the, um, the trophy position. So I get them to just lightly touch the back of their head here and I throw the ball up and then we try and hit the ball from this position because we're always already starting from this position so if that's a struggle what we can do is I do get my players to come in from the baseline and try and hit a little bit closer to the net and try and build up their confidence and getting the ball into the service box I mean it's quite a struggle at the beginning when you haven't served before to try and put all these elements into one one motion so um, that's that's a really good way and then from hitting from here we can move back behind the baseline in this position to eventually trying to get both the arm and the ball to go all the way round. so the last couple of things to talk about um, once we get that trophy position, which I mentioned before, is obviously the pronation of the racket. So as I come all the way round, I want to pronate and make a nice flat racket face with the ball. So the ball's going to go straight and where I want it. So we need a chop, we need a chopper continental grip on this, otherwise that's not going to happen. Um, so also the last thing to talk about is the racket path. As I strike the ball, 
I want to come all the way around and I want my thumb to end up by my hip. So it's going to give me a nice swing, loads of racket speed on the serve. Um, a little bit like this. So all the way around like this. Okay, so if you follow these steps, this will give you um, a bit of uh, an understanding of how to hit a basic tennis serve. I will be doing some other videos on um, some more advanced technique with using the legs and loading. Um, if you found this video helpful, guys, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe and share, or let me know if there's any other technical things that you're not sure of. Happy to answer your questions. Um, we uh, will see you in the next video.